What's going on y'all? Tech me out here and I am super excited about today's video. It's a little different, but it's one that I got inspired by um, actually in watching uh, GQ's top 10 things I can't live without from different celebrities. I started off watching one and found myself down like a rabbit hole of watching others. It was just cool to see like 10 different items that these people can't live without. And I just thought it would be good to like, or fun to do a creator edition, so to speak, and more specifically, a tech me out edition. So with that said, these are my top 10 items that I can't live without. If you're new to the channel, I'll go by tech me out. On my channel, I like to cover all things tech with a lifestyle type of approach. So yeah, a lot of diverse tech content up here. So if any of that sounds interesting, you already know what to do down below with that subscribe button. But um, let's jump right on to my first item. And if you know me, you probably know what this first item is gonna be. Cause I am a huge germaphobe. <laughs> I gotta have me some Purell, y'all. And yes, it has to be Purell. So I've tried, you know, the Bath and Body. I don't really care for the scent. I've tried, you know, the Off Brand. It just doesn't feel right in my hand, but the Purell is where it's at. Gotta stay protected and safe, so get you some hand sanitizer. You know, just take it out. One pump, two pumps for good measure. You know, I got the squirt, yeah, exactly. I like this one, cause I don't know, I just, Either way, get you some hand sanitizer if you don't have any, y'all. It's a must. So, the next thing I cannot live without is smart home speakers. I love music. If you have been following my channel, you probably know that because I mentioned it a couple of times. But um, I listen to music in my house more than I watch television. Like Music is playing like all the time. These, I can definitely say, get used every day that I am home every single day. All right, so my third essential is, <sighs> gotta have my body oils. I love scents, oh my goodness. Dang, this one's leaking. I like body oil, I use, you know, perfumes as well, but I think body oils are my preference. And then the nice thing about these two is that like when I'm traveling, they're TSA friendly because they're small, so they can definitely go into my, you know, carry-on bag. So much more portable than a perfume bottle. So I love me, love, love, love me some oils. I don't even know what number we're on, but yeah, these phones, yeah, plural. I'm about that life right now. I don't need to be, it's not necessary, but I thankfully have the luxury to have to, so I have to. Um, and I like carrying an iOS device and an Android device. The current phones that I'm using is the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I like both for certain reasons. I like iOS because I have the Apple ecosystem from the computer to the iPad, all the app, the Apple Watch, all that. So everything links up very nicely. And then I also am a huge texter. So the texting experience on iOS is just unmatched. I mean, y'all know I'm not lying. My Galaxy though, this Android platform up here always just, I don't know, it just sparks my creativity. It makes me feel limitless because I can customize my home screen to be however I want it to be to change the complete look of my phone. They got two phones. <laughs> nah. My next thing, Listerine strips. These are my go-to mints. This is what I like to use to refresh the breath. I cannot stand bad breath. I know it's, you know, human nature. We're not always gonna be on our Listerine strip tip, but <laughs> I don't like bad breath. You ever had, and maybe it's just me, but like for real, for real, you ever had a scenario where you're sitting next to someone or you're, well, yeah, sitting next to someone and their mouth is closed and their breath smells so bad that you can smell it from just them breathing? Smell it through their lips. They smell it through their lips? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming through their nose. <laughs> I had that on a plane. Oh my God. And that's the worst because you can't escape it. Listerine strips. I, I try to pop one of these anytime, you know, I feel like I need to refresh my breath. And I like the strips because they're very discreet and they dissolve on your tongue. So you don't have to chew or anything. It's like, you know, real smooth with it. Just, that's it. 
Like, if a Listerine strip <laughs> cannot fix your bad breath in that moment, you gotta brush your teeth. But Listerine strips, generally, you got some bad breath, you got that, you know, I just took a nap breath, you got that I've been quiet, listening breath, whatever. Pop a Listerine strip in, you gonna be good to go. Two max. All right, next up, I'm actually wearing it on me and I'm, I'm not gonna stand up, I'm gonna just take it off and, uh, AirPods, gotta, gotta have my AirPods. It took me a while to get used to them though because this one with the little ear tip, at first it wasn't working for me, it kept sliding out so I changed the tip and then I was good. And for the most part, these stay in my ear. I love the noise cancellation um, feature. I get nervous falling asleep on the plane with these though because you know, I, I feel like they're gonna fall out my ear, I have fell asleep with them in, but when I would pop up and wake up, I would feel like a slide. I, I couldn't sleep, because I kept popping up and going like this. Fall asleep, pop up, go like, it was, yeah, it was bad. So uh, yeah, I didn't want to lose one, because one of these drop is done. But, yeah. All right, next up are my Yeezys. Y'all know, we already talk, we know now. I'm a germaphobe, so I'm feeling really about these being over my countertop. So, I'm a run through these quick, but Yeezys are an essential. I you, I just recently got on these, honestly. Um, I felt Yeezys were just too expensive. I couldn't wrap my mind around paying that much for a sneaker until I did. <laughs> and now that I have them, I definitely, definitely see myself buying some more. They are so comfortable. Like, you get your money's worth to me. And then the cool thing on top of them being comfortable is that I hate creasing my toes. So being that this is like this felt material, I can bend this with no issue. Oh, I know I'm hurting some sneaker heads out there potentially. <laughs> but I can bend that with no issue and not worry about any creases. Use these, the, the hype is real. They're as comfortable as people probably say they are. They feel like I'm walking in a pair of cushioned socks. So yeah, definitely get you some Yeezys when you can. <laughs> Portable charger, gotta have this for me. I <laughs> do regret it oftentimes when I don't because Generally, I'll need it at some point, but especially when I'm traveling, I'm flying, I'm gonna be out for an extended period of time at a concert, gotta have a portable charger. I like this particular one because it's so slim and it's powerful, it's 8,000 milliamps. And I have my Nomad cable, I guess you could say this is another, you know, essential or thing I can't live without. Uh, I really like this one because it has the, uh, what is it? I call it the Superman cable. <laughs> Cause it has a USB-C in, a lightning and a micro USB. So regardless of what device I have on me, I know I can get it juiced up because I got the thing to do so. Another thing I gotta have is my camera. That camera can be anything from my Sony RX100 onto my Sony a7 III. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I guess you could say I'm a Sony girl. And uh, yeah, the last essential, the MacBook. So um, this is definitely, definitely something that I cannot live without. This is what I get everything done on. Not just editing videos, photos is what I edit up here as well. You know, graphic design, whatever. Anything that needs to be done on a computer is done on this. So yeah, those are my top 10 items I can't live without. Some basic, some not so basic. <laughs> but um, yeah, I thought this was a cool idea. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I enjoy making it. I think it would be cool to get other creators to do it as well. I think it'll be kind of interesting to see what their top 10 items are that they can't live without. So I want to issue a challenge to your average consumer, Crystal Lore, Belief from Fatherhood, and Evelyn from the Internet. I would love to see what your top 10 items are that you can't live without. So yeah, that's gonna sum it up for this. If you enjoyed this video, you know, please hit that thumbs up button down below and uh, let me know what you think. Drop it down below in the comment section. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. I feel like I was moving my hands like I was like <laughs> rapping or something. But anyway, yeah. All right, y'all, to the next one. <laughs>